Hello everyone, and welcome to Real Estate Daily with the House Heroes. My name is Troy, and every day we go over the latest news in mortgage, real estate, and the housing markets. Today is Wednesday, March 23rd. Lots of news going on on the mortgage industry as we see the rates go up. Here is our very first article from CNBC today. It says mortgage refinance demands plunge 14% as interest rates spike higher. As we predicted, we're looking at mortgage rates going up and which really kills the refi market. So there's very few people that actually have rates above four and a half percent, especially the boom in the last three or four years where rates were in the twos and threes. Because of that, we're just not seeing any refi demand. We were down 75% prior to that last month, and now we're down an additional 14%. We are heading to single digits and this industry being out of business, at least you know, in the mortgage side for the next at least year to two years if we're not getting this inflation under control. Next article here is from Realtor.com. It says new home sales decline, surprising analysts, even though inventory of properties for sale has hit the highest level since 2008. Well, this is a very interesting article here. New home sales decline. Well, we thought they would decline just because the interest rates have gone up. Now, I don't know why they're surprising analysts, even though inventory of properties has hit the highest level. Well, the reasoning that's hit the highest level is that more and more people are backing out of new new homes. So if I were to look at the process, when you purchase a new home, typically in the last two or three years, you're buying a house that hasn't even been built yet. They haven't typically even broke ground or even poured foundation. Because of that, you put down a small deposit and you're signing your contracts with your new home builder. Then it's about a three to six month process to build that home. Well, during that process, some buyers can get spooked, especially with all different things, but you know, interest rates are definitely one of them, and they can walk away. That leaves that house considered standing inventory, inventory in which can be con- finished, built, and purchased, or can be, can be completely finished, and now it's standing there without a buyer to it. So that's what we're seeing here on this particular article. That's what it's mentioning. We're seeing a lot of homes that are kind of starting to sit around now as buyers kind of flee the sidelines because of interest rates. Next article is another article from Realtor.com. It's, a, it's, it's about the record share of U.S. home buyers are looking to relocate as prices skyrocket. So now we have an all-time high of people wanting to, to leave their homes and relocate. A lot of this has to do with wanting to leave the state. Now, in the state we're in here in California, I know that you know about 50% of the people that are, are selling their home are going to be leaving and going out of state. A lot of issues here, several reasons. One, of course, is, this, is the state of California it just has not lived up to what everyone dreamed of, high taxes, high crime, you know, poor leadership, from the top to the bottom. So people wanna leave the state, they wanna move on. Other people wanna move up. So they might have a two bedroom, one bath, and they wanna jump up into a three bedroom, two bath. And what what statistics are showing is that people are leaving Orange County and LA County and moving east into Riverside and San Bernardino counties. So those are some of the reasons why, you know, that people are leaving. And of course, this is an all time high that people are relocating. Next article here is, again, uh, from Housing Wire. It says profit margins are plunging for non-banks. So non-banks are like Rocket Mortgage, uh, Loan Depot, places like this. We're definitely seeing, since they do quite a lot of refis, and they did the, the majority of refis in the last two or three years, it wasn't the Wells, it wasn't Bank of America or Chase, it was these types of, of mortgage lenders. And because of their significant... Uh, amount of refis they did and that industry pretty much gone we're just seeing their profit margins plunge if you're dealing with purchases yes they continue to do purchases but we're running into obviously you know inventory issues and with those inventory issues we're just not seeing the amount of purchases that we would typically see in a normal year though we haven't had a normal year since probably 2019 
2020 was COVID. Then we had the after effects of COVID in 2021. And then just a lot, you know, inflation exploded, printing money, spending money, you know, what have you. So we still haven't seen anything since 2019 as a normal real estate market, but we're not going to see anything anytime soon with what's happening with the Fed and, and inflation being out of control. Last article here is from Optum Blue, which is a Black Knight company going over conforming rates as well as 30 year fixed. We are, it's still just, it's still a bloodbath out there. Nationwide conventional conforming rate 30 year went up another 11 basis points. Now, let's put that in perspective. The Fed last week, last Wednesday, a week from today, they actually raised rates by 25 basis points. Just yesterday, conforming conventional went up 11 basis points, almost half of what the Fed raised it. There's just a lot going on here. Number one, obviously because of the Fed's moving up. Number two, the Fed is, is now going to stop buying mortgage-backed securities. So now more private companies like Morgan Stanley uh, are buying into it, and they're a lot less risk-adverse. Then on top of that, you're seeing the bond market go down. Nobody wants to buy bonds. Now the interest rates for bonds are 2%, two percent, you know, or 2 to 3% a year. That doesn't even hedge inflation. I mean, you're, you're literally, if you put your money in there, you're losing money if you're putting it into bonds. Doesn't make sense. And, and so for these reasons, you just have a lot going on and it's just going to hit the, the uh, mortgage industry. And that's what we're seeing. If we look across the board, literally 15 year conforming has stayed the same, but look again at Jumbo. Jumbo went up 11 basis points as well. And then FHA went up eight basis points. These are a tremendous amount of skyrocketing rates that are going to slow the market. The first thing the Fed did by talking about raising the, the overnight rate and then doing it last week, the first markets that really affected was the mortgage industry and, and the credit card industry, which will probably be somewhere 30, 60, 90 days out because they have to give their their clients and holders that time to get to adjust to the new rates that are that are going to be coming down the pike. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you liked our content, hit the like button. Otherwise, hit that notification button and subscribe to our channel. Really appreciate it. Subscribe to it. We come to you Monday through Friday with a five to 10 minute market overview in real estate and, and mortgage. And if you have any comments, please leave them down. We did have one yesterday. I responded to it. We'll definitely respond to any of your comments anytime. Otherwise, have a fantastic day, and I will see you tomorrow on Thursday.